afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Here's strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. last thing you want to do is to fall behind and count 3-2. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. That is third. Riding in for Boston, J.D. Martinez. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. High and deep to right center. Springer looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that. They take the lead. Into the box now. Xander Bogarts. To two and two now. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in his zone with a nice executed pitch. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gone. Back to back homers. At the plate now, Rafael Devers. No contact there, and it's one and two. This year against right-handed pitching, Devers is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business, and maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Morley. Here's the one-and-one one pitch. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Brentley is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Stepping in, Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. And that misses ball four. So that's just what you hope for here in the first. Base runners as you try to claw back into this one. The third baseman, Allen. Down low, two balls and a strike. Sale has hurled more than 1,700 innings in the majors during his career. And during that time, he's compiled over 2,100 strikeouts, placing him in the territory of greats like Roy Halladay and Vita Blue. Skied into straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it. One down. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring in Jose Altuve. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. 
He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Pedroia on to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One ball and two strikes to count. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one-two. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Gone into the upper deck. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. So now to the plate, Christian Vasquez. Hit high and deep to right center. Springer will back up and put this away for a long out number one. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Bases are empty, one man out. This is foul right side. Another 1-2 delivery. Still a ball and two strikes. Fouled off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2-2 two two now. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a... There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Oh. Into the box, Andrew Benintendi. Fouled away. A payoff pitch one more time. Lifted the other way to left center. Brantley is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's the second the baseman now, two. Dustin Pedroia. Second Nine at-bats for him Dustin. in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. The 3-1. Hard hit at third. Bregman gloves it. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Next up for the Strohs, Jordan Alvarez. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Full count, three and two. And it's fouled away. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. The two and one on its way. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. The bouncer to the left side. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. In now, George Springer. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Alvarez at third. Correa at second. Springer at first with no outs. Hit down the third baseline. 
But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. The first baseman, Yuliakki. Now here's a swing and a little bouncer out to the left of the mound. Throw will be too late at first. It'll be an infield single as the run comes in to score. To Blake now, Martin Maldonado. Two and one. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed strike three. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that brings in the left handed hitting outfielder Michael Brantley. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Two and two the count. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Alex Bregman would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he fouls this one off. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Fouled off. The next 3 2. He pulls this one into right. Verdugo is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. New inning set to get underway, and striding forward, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. The 2-1 home. He's in there for strike number two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Number two. One gone in the inning now. Here's Xander Bogarts. Now he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Next up for the Red Sox, Rafael Devers will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And Altuve will put the squeeze on this one, and that ends the inning. of the third now and that'll give way to the third baseman Alex Bregman base hit into right center now that is the second baseman Jose. into the box now Jose Altuve down the left field line and deep and that will end up a foul ball. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Pedroia on to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. Striding in for Houston, Jordan Alvarez. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in standing. The 1-2 is swung on and missed. He got him. 
So we're runner at first here with two gone in the, the inning. Bat. And ambling the over to the batter's gone. box is Carlos, Carlos Correa. Correa. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. Astro shortstop in front with a three and one count. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's hey. over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. With the plate, Mitch Moreland, as we begin the top of the fourth. The 3 2 pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Alex Verdugo. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Reddick is right there as he takes it for the second out. Ready now, Christian now Vasquez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Five runs on only four hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Line drive to center field. And he will run this one down as he pulls it in around the letters, and the inning is over. Here's George Springer. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Another full count pitch home. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Now that's striding in. Josh Reddick looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs, so getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. At the plate now, Yuli Guriel. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Count still at one and two. Five one our score as we play the fourth here. This is on the ground over to first. There is Pedroia. Pro won't get him. So now to the plate, Martin Maldonado. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate, Michael Brantley. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. 
squared up a fastball nicely and that's all you can do you just want to be on time for the heater and he's prepared for this next day baby. on to Moreland and they roll two to end the inning. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now back. back to the top of the order now, and with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Brad Peacock enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Dustin Pedroia will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. One and one, here it is. Fastball well outside. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And Pedroia swings through that one as he's set down on strikes for the second out. Now back. Now the Red Sox D.H. J.D. Martinez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out. And now he has some trouble with it in center. The bat, number two. At the plate, Xander Bogarts. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. A 1-1 home. Misses, ball two. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. 2-1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. From the belt, the pitch. He pulls this one into right. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's six to one. Now batting. The first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Stepping in now, Mitch Moreland. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. On to Altuve for the force out, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the big-time power threat, Alex Bregman. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. The next 3 2. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. One down. Ready for another shot now. Jose Altuve. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Pitch number 100 on its way. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Verdugo waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. 
Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. The count now at two and two. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Got him. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christian Vasquez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here now the 2 2. Popped him up. Guriel over to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It is laid off and the count runs full. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want. To... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Ready once again, Carlos Correa. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Hard hit ball to second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. In now, George Springer. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Three and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Ryan Brazier enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Josh Reddick will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Devers gloves it. One there, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So here's Yuli Gurriel. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. The 1 1 pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Brazier has over 40 innings on his line so far, and through those innings, he's posted a whip a little under 1.5. Certainly something he'd like to improve on. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So the Red Sox lineup turns over, and to the plate, Andrew Benintendi, 0 for 2 for him to this point. It's fouled away. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But this will land untouched. He stays alive, still two and two. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. The batter number three. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. 
And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Three two pitch. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Rogelio Armenteros will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Rafael Devers will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Now the one and one pitch is a fastball that misses. To two and two now. From the stretch. Still even at two and two. Six runs, six hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. For the traditional seventh inning. Ryan Weber will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 65. Last half of the seventh here, and up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Up with it, Vasquez. And he makes the throw to first. Maldonado is retired, and there's one away. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Now the payoff pitch home. Popped up. Devers waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Two out, nobody on. And this one misses as well, and that pushes it to three and one. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was in a great hitter's count. Should have been looking dead red, but instead chases after a pitch that he couldn't do anything with and would have walked him. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Now the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. Who says hitting isn't contagious? These guys have been feeding off each other all game and five home runs as the result. I'll tell you, you might see some scuffles in the on-deck circle between guys fighting to get to the plate. Into the box now, Alex Verdugo. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today really stayed staunch on on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it on to first so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the now first out the catcher. so Christian. digging in now Christian Vasquez he's hitless in three at bats to this point shin high that's taken for a ball. Ah. 
just off the inside part of the plate. It's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. In now, Jackie Bradley Jr. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. The 2 1 home. And that one got a piece of him. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Ready for another the chance? Pass. Dustin Pedroia, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Pedroia. 1-1. Hit to first. Guriel scoops it up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Leith Hembry is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37. Now in the box, Jose Altuve. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's just one for six. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Embry has tossed over 30 innings so far this season, and over that time, he's allowed exactly one and a half base runners per inning. That's well above where you want to be in that category. Ball three. Three and two now. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. Has a look, now the pitch. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. The batter, number one, good stop, Carlos. Correa. Into the box, Carlos Correa. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there. One away. George Springer the next to hit. A couple of walks for him thus far. Hits are even at seven apiece. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The 2-1 pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. To the plate now, Josh Reddick. Reddick behind the ball and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Bases are loaded with only one out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he is safe at the plate, taking a chance down a bunch, but it's a 7-2 contest now. Darwin's in Hernandez. Enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Yuli Gurriel will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Fouled off. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side.
Chris Davinsky enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. The 1-1. One, one. Drill down the line. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. At the plate, Xander Bogarts. He swings and misses. Throw down. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. I got to count two and two. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Reddick. He makes the running play. Two down. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. In the last at that, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The 1-2. One, two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Full count now, three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Josh Taylor, the six foot five inch left hander, takes over on the mound now. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Martin Maldonado. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And that's the first out. Here's Michael Brantley. The 1-1 one, one home is laid off for ball two. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So now to the plate, Alex Bregman fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Verdugo waits on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. 
Last strike now for Houston. Hit hard on the ground to first. Moreland's there. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Good job there to slam the door for the win, and they finish the month with a bang just the way you want to. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. to three. The Red Sox hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Chris Sale earns win number seven on the season. Josh James struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox: seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Astros, three runs on nine hits, no errors. They left eleven men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and thirteen minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.